This toy spins up these two propellers really fast to store energy like a flywheel, which when released, launches it high into the sky. Now I explored this system in a previous video where I attached a propeller to the front of a small glider. And the great thing about the launch mechanism for these spinners is a super simple yet effective design. As the spinner or propeller is accelerated, it's held down by these interlocking teeth. Then when the motor decelerates, the teeth disengage and it's launched into the sky. Unless of course the propeller decides to take its own plan of action. Now in order to give one of these spinners some altitude, we need to give it energy. And in this case, it's in the form of rotational energy. Rotational energy is a product of the rotational inertia of the propeller and its rotational speed squared. This means if we double the RPM of the propeller, we quadruple the energy. Now these small spinners go pretty high, but in order to get some more altitude, I think we need some more inertia. So I started by machining a 40 mm diameter three bladed design from a two mm sheet of aluminium. This will act as the structural frame of the spinner and I can then 3D print some aerofoil sections that will bolt to it. Then with a large launch adapter attached to an even larger motor, it was time for a quick test. Which proved successful, apart from the slightly damaged launch adapter. Time to give it some more RPM. Right, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna release it. Three, two, one. Whoa. And it looks like I need some more space. <laughs> so I attached an aerodynamic nose cone to it and headed out into the field. That's maybe 60%. Three, two, one. That goes pretty high. Oh, hopefully it lands all right. Okay, so because that's not traveling too far in terms of possibly leaving this field, I think we should uh, ramp it up a little. Okay, I'm gonna ramp up to full throttle and then straight away release. Wow, that's high. I love how you can tell that it's gone in spinning and this grass has just like been pushed down this way and this way just to like slow down the rotation. So I don't currently own a motor large enough and high enough RPM rating to spin this thing any faster and get some more altitude. So I think instead of firing it straight up, we should fire it horizontally. When I launch the smaller spinners horizontally, they travel quite far as if they are gliding through the air. I believe this is because the outer ring surface is acting like a wing and produces lift. However, the large spinner doesn't have this. Therefore, I need to angle it upwards at 40 degrees so the thrust produced by the spinning blades keeps it from dropping to the ground or hitting the fence. Now let's see what it does at full throttle. I love seeing the slow-mo of this thing vibrate like crazy as the launch adapter isn't perfectly central. Then once it's released into the air, it just smooths out and glides away. Okay, so we've seen how high it goes and how far it goes. Maybe it's time for some destruction. So that long grass was a nice soft landing for the spinner, but how about we try it onto some slightly shorter grass? I 
I think they might have broken it. <laughs> so there we have it, a slightly more powerful, more dangerous children's toy. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. If you're new to my channel and want to see other weird projects like this, then please click subscribe down below. A massive thanks to all of my supporters over on patreon.com. You guys seriously make these videos possible, so thanks once again. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh.